past papers, yeah. practice questions. Especially um, for AQA paper three, practical questions, I think. But for me, it's just a lot of past papers. Past papers. Yeah. That's my plan. So I'm here at uh, the University of Oxford in the Department of Physics. Um, this is actually one of the lecture theatres, uh, just joined by a couple of students. Uh, do you mind just introducing who you are? Yeah, so I'm Charlie and... Yeah, I'm Rohan. OK, so um, it's kind of the Easter holidays at the moment and you're not just relaxing on the beach or something. You are here just getting a mega, just a huge amount of physics, yeah? Yeah, so in the last few days we've done a couple of lectures. We've covered things like electromagnetism, we're going on to relativity and stuff like that soon, and we'll be doing loads of practicals as well. OK, so electromagnetism, you do that in school anyway. Yeah. So is it like just revision of what you've done in school, or is it like another level above it? Um, yeah, so I think in school, just with a lot of stuff we do in physics, we because maths is not required for physics, a yeah. lot of it's very simple maths, but now we're looking at things like Maxwell's equations in integral form and things like that, which where you combine things like differential equations and the physics, like the logic behind it. That's new stuff we're looking at. And so it's been new for everybody? Yeah, as yeah. far as I can tell, nobody's really come here knowing it all. Yeah. We're all sort of in it together. That's cool. Yeah. And, and you said relativity. Is this special or general, or is well, it just a bit of a starter of everything? We've got relativity tomorrow, but I think it'll probably be special because I think general's quite... General's quite a leap for, yeah. from yeah, nothing. I think, as I understand it, I think general's often like the last thing covered on like an undergraduate degree, like in year yeah. three or year four. Yeah. So, um, OK, so um, we're here, though, really because of the, the British Physics Olympiad. Um, and I guess you did that at school. So, um, yeah, do you want to say what, what that was actually like when you, when you yeah, did the Olympia? Yeah, so I can't remember when the first one was, but we've done two rounds of papers so far. And earlier okay. at the start of year 13, we did the Physics Olympiad round one, which was just a series of two, sort of we split it as two papers, one with more short answers, yep. one with longer answer questions. Yep. And it's very different from A-level in that in A-level, some of the questions are quite short, whereas with these you have to really think about before you start doing them to really get into them and start working. And do you know what score you got on those actual tests on the... We don't find out what score we get. I imagine that's just that when people get to camp, we're not just comparing. Yeah. Oh, of course, stuff, yeah, okay. But, but, yeah. but even to kind of get this far, you know, you're not necessarily scoring 100% on those papers. <laughs> no. Yeah, I remember the round one, paper two, which I found really, really hard. So I was actually surprised to get into round two, but then, yeah. you know, here I am. So it's, yeah. and, and so you're here, and what's really the purpose? I mean, obviously, it's, it's lovely to be doing some extra physics, but what, what's this kind of sort of training you up for? What is the plan after you've sort of finished this? And you, I guess you're going to go back to school, aren't you, for a bit? Yeah. Um, what's after that? So um, in July, I think, there's the International Physics Olympiad, so some yeah. of us will get selected to do that, or the European Physics Olympiad as well. Okay. And then, so I guess this isn't... This is mainly for us to just learn physics and have fun, but also we'll select like a few people to do a training camp and then go to that Olympiad cool. in July. And before that, I guess you've got a couple of exams coming up. You're both year 13. Yep. Um, if you had to give people advice, you know, people watching this, they're probably going to be doing exactly the same exams that you are. So what is it that you're going to be doing to really try and like prepare for the actual... Is it which, which, which exam board are you doing? Uh, I'm doing AQA for physics. AQA, sorry. OK, so you're both doing AQA. How are you going to try and prepare for those exams coming up? Past papers, yeah. practice questions. Especially um, for AQA, paper three, practical questions, I think. Okay. That's the one which you know I find the hardest. So and I love and, those. and where are you going to find questions for that? Uh, physics and maths tutor. You can get all the past papers from there. Yeah. And yeah, they've got like stats from loads of years. So cool. And also available in the physics online shop. Uh, you can buy another practice paper three A. Um, I think I think a bit comes up here in the video. Just uh, a little. It might do. It might say that. Yeah. So um, yeah. So yeah. Um, obviously, practice. <laughs> shameless plug there. Yeah. Uh, practice <laughs> papers are important. Um, any. any and any tips actually when you're doing the papers? If, if there's something you're stuck on, what do you do? How do you unstick yourself? Well, I'd say the last resort is going to the mark scheme because as soon as you go to the mark scheme, you kind of devalue everything you've done because once you see the answer, you sort of convince yourself that's what you were thinking. Okay. So try and do everything and anything you can before, even on scrap piece of paper, just write down everything you know, try and link a few things together and see if you can just come up with a few explanations why. Yeah, yeah also like if it's the first part of a question, maybe see if you can do any other parts. And then if you look at the mark scheme, maybe look at, if it's a long question, look at the first line of the mark scheme and see if you can use the hint they've given and work from there to get to the final answer. So don't just go, I can't do the question, 
what are the six marks? You go, well, okay, that's the first one. That gives you a clue. Yeah. And, and I guess that yeah. tells you where to start and then see if you can work it through from there. Yeah. So I guess in the exam, you're not, if you get stuck on a six mark, you're not going to have a hint to get there. So you need to try and see if you see something you don't know, what can I try and get out of it? Because if there's six marks, it'd be silly just to try and throw them all away. You might as well give it a stab. Yeah. Uh, I hope it all goes really well for both of you and uh, good luck both Thank in your you. real exams and the actual proper Olympiad competitions. Thank, Thank you. you very Thanks. Much. Thanks. Thanks. I've got three more people here. Uh, do you mind just uh, introducing yourselves uh, going from here, first uh, of all? I'm Sophie. Sophie. I'm Carter. Carter. I'm Freddie. Freddie, nice to see all of you. Um, so you didn't know each other before this week. No. You've sort of been thrown in. Uh, how's everybody been? It's been good. I've uh, got a chance to meet lots of new people from uh, different places and some people who are actually quite from quite close to home as well. Oh, that's cool. Yeah. And uh, so you're all from the Olympiad team, from like the, the physics Olympiad. There are some, I think, somewhere else in the building, I think up near the roof somewhere, there's people looking through telescopes at the moment. There's the Astro and it's, it's like the British Astronomy and Astrophysics Olympiad. It's a bit of a mouthful. Have you, have you done much with them? Um, well, last year I was in the um, astrophysics team. Oh, okay. So oh, wow. So you're, you've come back again. Okay. Yeah, I, I'm, I'm back for, for more. Yeah. So and how does this compare? Um, well, I mean, with the astrophysics, I found there's a lot more new things. Okay. Because no one really does astrophysics. No. Um, by themselves, at A level at least. Mm -hmm. So when you come to this, you have to you know, ramp up and learn all these new things about stars and cosmology and again it's um it's not just been the kind of the kind of sitting in lecture theatres just having maths thrown at you there's been sort of experiments and things how did you find the experimental side of things um well i, I kind of messed up the first one a bit but the <laughs> yeah. second one was more um with the lenses that was, yeah. that was more it was more fun i thought okay yeah, quite good. And, and sophie so how did you find the experimental I, side of things on the other hand found the first one much easier because the theory was fairly okay yeah. whereas the theory for this one I my A-level course doesn't include lenses mm. at all so it was that I'd come across the equation the night before I think so yeah and I suppose going forward now you've got before the actual competitions that you're kind of training for at the moment you've all got real exams uh, you're year 13 mm -hmm. and which exam boards are you OCRA yeah OCRB OCRB you must be the only one in the country, right? Okay. I'm OCRB as well. Okay, so you two are the OCRB, right. Okay, yeah. so what are you going to be doing for the next what, few weeks to prepare for, especially your physics exams? Um, well, for me, for the OCRB stuff, yeah. I, um, I don't really struggle with the calculations, but yeah. often they have these longer explanation questions. Mm -hmm. So for me, I think I'll just be going through past papers, um, but sort of maybe seeing what my method would be for the calculations, but not actually doing them. Yeah. But then going straight to the explanations and trying to get a nice, clear answer for those. Yeah, I, I do agree that sometimes, I think it probably, especially for a lot of people here and probably a lot of people watching, the numbers make sense and you've got a definite answer, but people don't like the six markers. They don't like the kind of the written answer where you've got maybe four marks available and you've got to think, is that a three mark or a four mark answer? I think that's the thing that a lot of people shy away from. So I think by going and focusing on those, that's a really sensible kind of suggestion. Right, and for you, OCRA, um, what is your plan? What is your... Um, I think there's some of the smaller topics, like, like the materials, where it's a lot more qualitative than yeah. um, calculations. And because a lot of the topics that you learn in year 12, they're, they're applied in year 13, so you've mm -hmm. already been revising them throughout the year, whereas materials doesn't really come up That's in, right. year in year 13. Yes. So I think it's the topics that I haven't been revising throughout the year that probably is most worth. So almost like the AS material, the stuff from year 12, which should be simpler, it's just stuff you haven't been doing week in, week out, and it's just making sure that you've remembered, like, you know, what is limited proportionality or the young modulus and those kind of things. Yeah. Uh, thank you very much, you three. I hope it all goes really well for your exams and also the Olympiad competitions. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. So I've got a few more people here uh, also on the training camp. Uh, who are you, all of you? I'm Jamie. I'm Sam. I'm Harrison. Today we got on to Maxwell's equations, yep. uh, which is quite a lot to cover in like four hours of lectures. Okay. So, you know, we're doing our best. Yeah. <laughs> and it's definitely a, a challenge, but also quite interesting. Cool. And it's not just been kind of actually sat in a lecture theatre. So, Harrison, um, f physical sort of labs and stuff? Yeah. So, we had a practice one yesterday. Yeah. Uh, which was, it was like a, an oscillating slinky. Um, that was one of them. And also measuring the, um, it was like measuring the mass of a, like one coil of a slinky and like 
the time period of its oscillations and stuff and, and like the average extension yeah. of Huxley. law. Uh, today we had uh, another practical, which actually is being marked right now, isn't it? Yeah. So, oh, so you're being assessed as, you're, as a week goes on. It's not just The first fun one lectures. wasn't assessed. This one, this one is assessed, yeah. Um, they also, normally. given yeah. that we're timetabled nine to nine with lectures, they set an enormous amount of trivial exercises for students <laughs> as, they set, trivial. Them, yeah. as yeah. they set them. The lecture of, of electromagnetism in particular just refuses to prove things because they're yeah. apparently trivial, <laughs> trivial for students in all our free time to go and do after okay. 9 o'clock. So which, which we don't have free time. Don't have but lecture. then compared to this, though, going into the exam period, it's going to be quite relaxing just having your own revision that you can set the time oh, for and then I a couple of exams. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Nice so non-12 hour days. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and uh, in terms of, I suppose, uh, preparing for exams, which I guess you've all got coming up, are you all year 13? Yeah. 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 So which exam boards do you do? Uh, so for physics, I'm OCRA. Okay, cool. I do CIE. Okay. Uh, I'm OCRA as well. But, but to get there, um, in terms of your exam prep again, what are you going to be doing, Harrison, to kind of prepare I for mean, that? I, I, I very sort of basic with sort of how I do revision. It's just on, on college days, it's an hour in the evening on weekends and days where I'm not in college, it's two hours yep. split into two hour sessions. So, okay. And I've just stuck to that and it's just... But, and but it's just half an hour for each subject in each, like... But you've done that for a while, though, fairly yeah. consistently. So yeah, I started revising for A-levels a, a couple of weeks ago, a few weeks ago. Yeah. Okay. Like proper, but after my last set of mocks. Yeah. So it's, it's just, if you're keeping the same routine, it's, it's, it become, feels natural after a while. And it's, it doesn't, it's not hard to revise. It's yeah. just going over the stuff you don't know until it sinks in. I was getting quite complacent about work. I wasn't working very hard, but I think this is going to be good to kickstart my, <laughs> my work ethic back into shock yeah. after doing 12 hours a day if i go back to three or four that will probably be that will feel yeah it'll feel lovely yeah and uh, jamie isn't it yeah uh, what are you doing to prepare for your exams what's the what's the big plan so for me it's just a lot of past papers i yeah. think yeah. i probably end up getting through most of the ones that have been released maybe into some old ones as well and and you say past papers is this just ocr are you going to be doing other exam boards papers uh, or just... i'll probably start with ocr but if it seems like i'm running out i might have to uh, dig deep into the, yeah. the archives of the AQA. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> right. But I think for most people, that the physics is going to be fairly similar across, yeah. across yeah, most, definitely. most boards. Yeah. My, my physics teacher, Gary Braun, absolute legend of a physics teacher. He, um, shout out. He, yeah, <laughs> a bit of a shout out he, there. Um, yeah. yeah, he deserves it. He, he, he's gone through like every past paper off every exam board, found all the exam questions like put them into different documents by topic got all the marks and he's put them into different documents by topic so for each topic we've got like 150 pages of exam questions wow. and we can just go in so that's like the best revision i've got is going through by topic yeah it's like you can get really good at the student yeah. yeah so definitely <laughs> past papers then that's like the main thing that everything is hinged around yeah perfect i hope it all goes really well for all of you and uh, good luck thank in the olympiad much. as well thank you yeah. thank, thank you, you cheers thank thanks you. So I have some people here who aren't actually training for the Physics Olympiad. Uh, this is the, I always forget how to say it, British Astrophysics, oh, British, is it British Astrophysics and Astronomy Olympiad. Yeah. Okay, uh, shortened to? Uh, the BAAL. Yeah, so I think that's how everybody's been like, referencing it, it all week. It's um, quite a mouthful to kind of, sort of say it out each time. Um, do you want to just say who you are and uh, what you're doing here this week? My name's Sebastian, and we're... It's a one-week course on anything related to astrophysics and astronomy. Yeah. So we're learning how to recognize constellations, how to predict how stars evolve, how to find the distances between all kinds of distance ob objects and our own home planet yep. and everything else. Cool. And a lot of the kind of stuff you've done here, uh, so just introduce yourself each time. Dougie. Dougie, Dougie. Dougie. yeah. So um, is this stuff that you've done before in school or you've kind of self-taught or is this all completely new? Uh, so, I mean... It's, it's, I mean, there's a lot. So I tend to find that we've, every time we've started a new topic, yeah. we've done like maybe five minutes of covering stuff that we all know and maybe have done as an A-level and yeah. then just loads more. Okay. Um, so a lot of it's new, yeah. uh, I've found. I don't know about uh, others. How about you? So um, we met a couple of years ago. Mm -hmm. uh, you did quite well on one of the uh, physics Olympiad competitions before that. You're now back here. Mm -hmm. um, what's, the, what's the content like? What's the level of work that you're doing? I think it's a lot tougher than <laughs> anything we've seen before. I mean, the prep work they sent was definitely not prep enough for the competition, <laughs> I okay. thought. But in terms of prep, was it like kind of question packs or was it like um, some new knowledge or like here are some constellations, you just got to learn these or...? There were two parts to it. So there are the three theory questions, which we 
kind of seen before and done a lot of them for yeah. uh, the round two. Uh, and then there was the observational side where we just had to learn a bunch of constellations and stars and messier objects. Oh, okay. And uh, do you want to just pass the microphone? Yeah. And so tonight, um, it hasn't all just been maths and like sitting in a lecture theatre. You've been like using telescopes this evening? Yeah, so we've had a mix of practical and theory today. Um, we were doing uh, spherical astronomy today, yeah, yeah this morning. Uh, and that was, what, three hours, I think? And so uh, that's it's basic, quite a big topic. So that's like sort of trigonometry and things, but yeah. it's, not a, like a, a, it's not like a flat plane. It's kind of... Yeah, it's all the spherical trigonometry, so learning new rules for it. Yeah. Um, and applying that to all sorts of different coordinate systems, like converting between them. Mm -hmm. And that's very maths heavy. And then this evening we've been doing more practical side with um, how to use the different telescopes and yeah. how to... Well, we've just been looking at the planetarium. Okay. So we actually have... Um, putting into practice what we've been learning on just star maps. Yeah, cool. So you've been doing a lot of kind of new stuff. Um, but of course, uh, this is all training for like a big competition, isn't it? So uh, who wants to explain a bit more about that? Hi. Yeah, Dougie, right. Oh, so. Hi. Okay. Um, yeah, so I mean, there's, there's a group of us with the finalists and they'll, uh, you know, they'll select, we'll have an exam, two exams at the end, and they'll select five of us for the International Astro Olympiad. Yeah. Um, which is Brazil this year. Oh, cool. Which would be exciting. Obviously, yeah. you've got to get on it first. Um, but yeah, that's, that's uh, like the other International Olympiads annual competition. Yeah. Um, really exciting. It'd be an amazing opportunity, but uh, really cool and very tough. Yes, I can imagine. And of course, that's going to be in the summer. Uh, before that, you've all got exams. You're year 13, is that right? Um, in terms of like your own revision and your own preparation, what are you going to do to like kind of make sure that at the very least, you kind of get through your exams so you can get the, your place at uni. Yeah, so for now, I've done, like, nothing. Okay, you've done nothing, <laughs> right, okay. Um, except for mocks, which were about two months ago, and I've forgotten kind of everything. But you have just done a whole week of physics, kind of That's based true. maths, kind yeah. of revision. So I'm yeah. going to use that as motivation for the next two weeks to just bang on with some A-level content. Yeah, okay. And pass papers. So this is kind of, are you panicky at the moment, or is this just, like, part of your plan of this is, like, the, your focus, and then you switch your focus to... I'm quite revision. panicky right now, <laughs> but I feel like there's a bit more of a panic for the IOAA right now oh, okay. instead of A-level. Okay, cool. So, but sometimes that can hopefully all kind of keep you working and, and stuff. Uh, okay, um, what about you? What, what's your plan for kind of exams? Well, in school we've got, like all of our subjects are finished already yep. and we've still got more weeks. And like we finished, um, some of the subjects we'd finished all the content like uh, half a term ago. Oh, okay. So we've had a lot of time to revise. Yeah. Um, particularly in physics, mm -hmm. um, compared to, uh, I'm also doing maths for the maths and economics. Okay. But uh, physics was the first to finish. Yeah. So we've had a lot of time to go back over stuff, and also, like compared to the level that we're working at here, it it feels really comfortable. Yeah. Because it's it's stuff that we've been doing for years, and it's mm -hmm. building on GCSE, whereas this is like a completely different level. Yeah. Um, and in terms of like the harder things of the course, I mean, I suppose the mathematical bits are going to be relatively straightforward for you. What about the wordy answers and the explanations? Are they the things that you're finding a little bit more tricky that you've got to spend the time just learning definitions, you know, learning like the kind of experimental method? Is that the kind of thing that is a little bit more tricky? Um, well, at least for me, a lot of them are quite similar structures. Like if you do, I, I like the FAO structure, which is like, fact, application, and outcome. Okay. So you just work through it. Um, and that works for a lot of more explanation type questions. And then a lot of the definition questions are basically just rewriting a formula, but in words. Mm -hmm. um, and then we're going to do a lot of practice of all the like paper three stuff from, for AQA, which yeah. is all that like practical skills. Yeah. Um, so that's probably what I want to revise most. Cool. And uh, so just coming over to this side over here. Um, so you're going to be doing, what, physics, maths at uni, something like that? Uh, no, I'm, I'm actually majoring in finance. Okay, but so. in terms of the exams you've got coming up, um, you've got physics exams, haven't you? Mm -hmm, so what's yeah. your approach to your physics exams in particular? Right, so with physics in particular, uh, you, do, you, you have to look specifically at the A-level that you're doing. You know, you're not yeah. studying to become a, a professional physicist mm -hmm. or a, uh, a theorist. You do actually have to be quite humble and recognise that there are a lot of definitions to learn. Yeah. And you have to learn what kind of hits the mark scheme. Mm -hmm. um, 
Yeah. It, it's a lot of repetition, repetition for sure. It is. Yeah. Anything else? Past papers. Yeah. That's my plan. Just past um, papers. Just do as many as I can. Like I, and I, you know, I could be as confident as I like with sort of the ideas behind the content, but in terms of, like you say, hitting the marking points, I mean, there's no, there's no replica for just sitting down and doing a load of questions. And are you doing the whole paper in one go, or are you doing one question or questions by topic? What's your approach? I think I'd, I generally choose not to do questions by topic to try and jump around, and because that's useful for me. I think if I can find a link, that helps me remember it. Yeah. But uh, depends on the time. If I've got lots of time, I might do uh, a full paper. If I haven't got lots of time because I'm I don't know, hopefully still doing astro stuff, which, yeah. you know, or doing another subject, then I might do a couple of questions that I've identified as topics that I'm not so keen on. Cool. Well, thank you all, all, uh, thanks all, to all of you. And I really hope that uh, your, your exams go well, which I'm sure they will. And then, uh, you know, um, the IAAO, is that how you say it? IAAO? IAAO. IAAO, yeah. The international one. Oh, is it? Say what? So IOAA. IOAA, not... Okay, I'll, I'll put the acronyms underneath this to kind of explain what's what, but I hope whatever you're doing, it all goes really well, if that's either your own exams or university or your, uh, the actual competitions with this. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thanks. Thank you.